Hello friends, James Stevenson and Loki back with a question. Hey, remember last year when everybody was saying battery electric vehicle sales are on the decline? Is that true? Well, I made some fresh charts using data from the Argonne National Laboratory. As uh, I let Loki walk back over to his bed, you'll be able to see him in the Loki spot cam uh, entering the frame momentarily. Uh, he'll be in there. Uh, doing whatever he wants to do, moving his blanket around, getting comfortable. You can keep an eye on Loki and the Loki's bed cam here while I turn my attention to this fresh chart showing the 10-year change in U.S. passenger vehicle sales by fuel type. So uh, there's a few things going on. I'll just walk you through them really quickly. How has the U.S. passenger vehicle market changed over the past 10 years if you break it down by fuel type, that is regular old gasoline or petrol cars versus regular hybrid electric vehicles like your Toyota Priuses of the world that don't have a plug versus your plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, PHEVs, versus BEVs, battery electric vehicles that do not have a combustion engine. And as a Tweety Bird tweets outside, uh, you can see in the chart the non-EVs, I'm calling them, the regular old gasoline combustion engine cars that don't have any batteries uh, to propel the car with, are down more than 2 million vehicles sold per year, 2023 versus 2013. Everything else is up. Plug-in hybrids are up you know, a quarter of a million vehicles versus uh, where they were selling back then. Hybrids are up, uh, you know, 0.7 million, something like that. Battery electric vehicles are up by more than a million units sold per year, which is more than a 2,200% increase over where they were 10 years ago. Uh, so that's how it looks on a bubble chart. Let's take a look at it on a bar chart. So if we stack these on top of each other so that you can see the rising and falling total number of vehicles sold in the U.S. by year, you can see 98% of the market was regular old non-EV gasoline engine vehicles back in 2011. And that number didn't fall much for a long time. 97, 96, 97, 97, 97, 97, 96, 96, 95 in 2020. But since then, what's happened? There's been a rapid decline from 95% to 90 to 88 to 83% of the market now being regular old gasoline engine vehicles. What has been taking their place? Well, you can see on the top of the stacked bar chart here and in the legend at the top, the combustion hybrid vehicles, like a Toyota Prius, etc., uh, that, that can only be refueled with gasoline, there's no plug, uh, those are in blue. Plug-in hybrids uh, that you can fuel either with electricity from a plug or with gasoline, those are in gold on this chart, and battery electric vehicles uh, that you can only uh, fuel by recharging with more electrons. Those are in green here. So the green bars are getting mighty big, and that's where you see the growth in 2023 versus 2013. That green bar was so small you can't even see it uh, at this level uh, on the chart, but check it out. It has grown quite a lot. Now, the other way of looking at this, um, which you may have been wondering about when you saw how badly these percentages have fallen, even though, you know, from 2022 to 2023, more gasoline engine vehicles were sold in absolute terms. So, you know, 13 million instead of 12 million uh, gas cars were sold in 2023 versus 2022, but the percentage fell. So maybe you want to see a chart that has a 100% stack every year. That's what this does. So you can see the relative change, or the market share percentage, I called it in this table, by fuel type. So here's that change over the past four years, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. Is it battery electric vehicle sales that have an adoption problem? 
Definitely not. <laughs> Are, uh, does the market not want battery electric vehicles? That's false, for sure. You can tell by looking at this chart, right? Back in 2020, the green bar was so small, you couldn't even label it with a, a 2%. It was that small. Uh, it grew to 3% in 2021, to 5% in 2022, to 7% in 2023. And the combustion hybrid vehicles sales are also growing uh, at the same time. So that's what's eating into sales of regular gasoline engine vehicles is, I mean, really all three groups. These yellow bars are bigger than they were for the plug-in hybrid EVs. And... Uh, I got this information from Argonne National Laboratory. You can see the link here. Uh, it was a chore to get this data in. I had to use an app that uh, converts PDF files into Excel files. And then even after it converted it for me, I had to clean it up some. Uh, and then I added some colors to it. So you can see the way they report it they don't break out the gasoline uh, vehicles separately. You have to do the math yourself by subtracting these three categories from the total. I also have on here what the PEVs are combined because they don't give that to you in the data. Uh, those are plug-in electric vehicles being BEV or PHEV flavors. Then I have the non-EV calculation here. That's where those charts are coming from. And then here you can see the percentage. So uh, I also did this on a 12 trailing month basis. And then I made it collapsible. Uh, let me do this here. Yeah, yeah. So on this view, I've collapsed all the months that aren't December, 12 trailing month averages, so that that makes each one of these give you the year shown in column A. And this is where we see that uh, battery electric vehicle sales are up by 1.1 million from almost nothing, from 48,000 uh, back in 2013. Battery electric vehicle sales have grown to more than 1.1 million, largely on the strength of Tesla. Tesla is far and away the number one seller of battery electric vehicles in the U.S., which is what we're talking about a 2,266% increase uh, versus 2013. And these are the same numbers for the other groups. Uh, Plug-in hybrids were around the same level as battery electric vehicles back in 2013. Those have only grown to about 300,000, but they are still growing. Then we have the hybrid, uh, combustion hybrid vehicles that have grown uh, not by as large a percentage, but because that was the number one alternative fuel type back in 2013. They sold about half a million of that kind of vehicle. So battery electric vehicles are rapidly gaining on combustion hybrid vehicles and may pass them this year, 2024. We only have partial data so far this year for January and February. But the 12 trailing month averages uh, seem to have uh, plateaued a bit uh, so far this year. We'll see how the rest of the year plays out. Uh, I'll collapse that back so we don't confuse ourselves too much. And yeah, a 14% decline in the gasoline-powered vehicles from 15 million back in 2013 to less than 13 million in 2023 a 2.1 million vehicle decline. So there you go, that's the data. Um, and these are my year over year growth percents over here. Check out the battery electric vehicles. No negative years. One year came close, 2020, <laughs> only 2% growth, but it was positive growth that year. Every other kind of vehicle has had several negative years, uh, years of contraction in sales. Battery electric vehicles grow every year, and the trend seems likely to continue. And that's my video for today, right, Loki? As I check back in with Loki, who has tucked himself fully under his blankie by now. And I'll say, if you uh, enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button, whether you're watching me on X or on YouTube. That helps the algorithm recommend this video to other people. 
And thank you to everybody who supports me on X or on uh, Patreon or on YouTube, as my executive producers, Kenty Kitchler and Rebellionaire.com did. And I'll see you in the next one.